Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nick. I'm Andy. And you're watching KFAF, the 2019, possibly 2020, uh, Streamy Award winning show. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, Nick, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of money being exchanged, mm. right? Like the, these award shows are all about politics. Oh, it's, it's all politics. It's, it's all, all about politics. Now we we talked yesterday. Me, you, and Kevin got in a room together, mm -hmm. and after we were done vigorously touching each other, nope. we said we said to each other, we were like, "How much money should we spend on our political campaign to get us streamy?" To be clear, that did not happen. A lot of numbers being thrown around. A lot of numbers being thrown mm -hmm. around. Someone said, don't spend any money. It's not worth it. Streamers right. are stupid. Mean, yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's, well, I mean. Greg no, popped his head and said, hey, don't want to stream me because then you'll lord that over my head like I did with my fucking 2012 Trending Gamer Award. Yeah. And we were like, whatever. I think that was like in 2004 or something like that. That was before there was even games. It's before there was a Nintendo 64. Yeah, they were just like, hey, good for you. You played, you were a Sega kid. You made yeah. it through your entire childhood without ever having an NES. Yeah. What a terrible, hey, dark uh, time. Hey, Hey, Andy? What's up? You, you're like cool and you're friends with that Steven Subtick guy, right? Yeah, I'm cool. He won a streamy last year, right? Did he, he did win a streamy, yeah. Why don't it you clearly maybe it's like him. a Forbes thing, Kevin. You're maybe, right. Maybe at some point you should call him you on, have to on ask, the show. Yeah, you ask former streamy winners to like. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. What's up? Next time I'm down there or you're down there, what we do is we get Autumn drunk. Okay, you know, you're familiar with Autumn? Yeah, you already got, yeah. yeah. Get her hammered no. and then we'll start. Subtly putting out hints like, "Hey, how'd you guys win a streamy?" Okay, right, and then right. she'll let it go because she'll give us the secret. Yeah, the secret. It's like a lane. Remember, do you, you know, know why Seinfeld with the vault? You know, she doesn't work there anymore, right? It doesn't matter. They're all in the same building. That's same true. building. It's a good point. Are they really? It's a great yeah. point. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like we know all the secrets of the comic book shop and the hair salon downstairs. So the two many hair dead salons. Bodies. Two of them. Same. Two of them. Same building. Um, one thing I was gonna say is like I always thought that. Um, um, where I made a mistake was, yeah. you know, clearly these awards are all about politics, but by that, what I did was I just studied, like, different arms of the government, and I yeah. was like, so, Air Force, so I walked Marines, up to the streamies, and I was like, hey, what's State up Department. with Congressman so-and-so, and, -so? and right. they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, different politics. Different kind of politics. Different kind of politics. I don't like when they use that word, it's super political. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what you mean is it's super fucking high school, that's what you mean. It's you're talking shit behind someone's back so that your shit can get better. You can get the role in the fucking school theater play or whatever. Yeah. Political, I always think, I don't want to deal with that. It's just a bunch of psychopaths trying Attack to run for ads. Congress. Yeah. Attack ads. This, you don't want to vote for Andy. Andy can't play guitar. It's all fake. And it's like, fuck you. Yeah, I can. You know what I mean? Play it again. Do it again. <laughs> fuck you people talking shit about Andy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you today. I'm... V excited, as all the millennials I say. Didn't say yeah. That. V excited. Uh, before we get into that, though, uh, I want to take a second to tell you about our Patreon producer, uh, David Mentel. You're the. You know, here's the thing. We just, we just throw names out there. Yeah. Okay. But I want to get to know our Patreon producer. We only got one. We already know him. Is it? We thing. used to have fifteen. Yeah. Now we just need one. Yeah. And I want to tell you guys a little something about David Mentel. Okay. My He's special to me. David Mentel. <laughs> is that I like to imagine David Mintel up in the mountains of Montana, uh -huh. just riding a big horse, mm -hmm. saving a bunch of little horses, you know? <laughs> What's he saving the little horses from there? Other little horses. Okay. You know? Ah, uh, yes. The Great Little Horse War of 92. Exactly, exactly. Uh, 1892, like, actually. There's nothing worse than a horse. David Mintel is 140 years old. Horse on horse violence uh -huh. is the worst. And David Mintel is out there doing God's work every day. Eradicating it. You know, I like to imagine a lot, him. Of, a lot of racist baby horses out there. A lot of people don't know that. It's the, the, the problem is like, you know, then you get the zebras. Confuses everyone. Right. Confuses everyone. Yeah, exactly. Is dude. it a horse? What is it? I don't is know. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horse cousin. <laughs> it's something like Way that. Way more violent. Did you know that? Would you like to believe that every time I see zebras, I think of fruit striped gum? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, man. D David Mitel has also told me they run out of flavor super quick. Oh, God. David Mitel is a gum expert. Mm -hmm. He's a candy expert. Knows nothing about burritos. Uh -huh. Just dog shit when it comes to Mexican food. But flavor. super knowledgeable about wars and horses. Lo specifically, the super great mini horse war of 1882. Yeah, 1892. 1892. 82 was the prior one. 82 was all the zebras fucking trying to revolt and they one. just ping, ping, yeah. ping, pong right in the fucking head. Thank Christ. you, David. All right, thank you, David. Thanks for your support. If you guys want to be one of our producers, go over to patreon.com slash kind of funny. Back is there. You can also take part in our uh, segment later today called Ask Andy Anything. All right. Yeah, that's it for that music. <laughs> oh, that was great. Hard cut. Yeah. It, uh, it got it got like really high as you were doing the, the that little outro. No, it's great. So I wanted to play out and then do that hard cut. <laughs>
<laughs> I like I like to feel the emotion here. Yeah. But then when I'm done, we're done. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what Kevin knows Ooh. about me. Hold on, real quick. What is it? What are you drinking? Ice Croy? smells bad. We're getting. We have a bad ice. Thing. Is it the ice or is that that people drink beer? I, out of this? I think it's the fridge. I think it's, it's an the, ice thing. The, yeah, the, the ice. Right you know, you ever go to your We've friend's got, house and you sometimes see you get like yellow in the ice? Mm -hmm. No, there's no yellow in the ice. There's Bad no yellow ice. in the ice, but it smells like yellow. Let me smell. Can I well, smell your glass? It's just because the, the the like there's like old pizza and oh yeah, we got to clear. Well, also DiGiorno, God bless mm -hmm. us. They've, God bless them. Send us 500 pizzas, and I'm pretty sure that means that no, God it's bless not, us too. Yeah, God bless us. I'm sure that it's not. It's it's keeping the freezer from keeping everything where it needs to be because no, there's true. just so much in it. You're wrong. That's, that's true. That's, that's how physics works. Goes off the balance. Absolutely not. So you. So what do you think it is? A bacterial I, infection in our in our in our ice? No, what is I, it? I know Why does this cup smell like yellow? Why does it smell like yellow? Yeah, it does smell like yellow. Fucking yellow! I love it. Smell this and tell me and just think of the color. Beaumont Barrett, said, get in here. Bold, get in here, Barrett. Beaumont says World Horse War One, 1882. <laughs> Which one was the Call of Duty that had horses? Was it Call of Duty or was it Battlefield? Uh, Battlefield One. Battlefield World horses. One. It doesn't smell like yellow. It smells like uh, grape, uh, like. Well, that's that's I the drink. So. Okay. The drink is grape flavored, but uh, when you take mm. a sip, you feel the yellow. I'm not taking a sip out of this. One. Okay. It tastes. I'm telling you, it tastes like what's old up? pizza. What's up? What's going on with Barrett these days? Is well, he the, is he doing okay? I've heard that like he couldn't taste it because the his giant tongue just sucks in all the senses. Do you think that like the, is it to the point where he's not gonna be able to see soon? Because his, right. oh his tongue my. is so good. What is wrong? We'll see. With you? Things. What we'll is see, wrong maybe. with you guys? We'll see, maybe. Why do you have to be so awesome? <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. I can't wait for you to get to the tail end of this yeah, show. Yeah. Uh, but before we do that, of course, it is tradition that we continue our... I mean, this is a feud at this point. Yeah. This is not a game anymore. This is fucking serious, and it's real life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Connect Four. Hold Andy, on. hit me with that hold intro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Hit me with the intro. Hit me with the intro. It, you know, I have to like retune this, Nick. Do we? I mean, we it's don't have take, time for this. It's gonna take so long to tune it. Uh, just play the intro. All right, Kevin. yeah, Kevin, play the intro. Go for it, Andy. Go for it. Oh, sh hold on, hold on. Go for it, Andy. Damn it, hold on. Go for it, Andy. Go for it, Nick. Go for it. Connects within three and five. You want more than three. But less than five. Go for it. Connect to the three and five. Go for it, Andy. Go for it, Nick. Go for it. Connect to the three and five. Sometimes it's pre recorded, sometimes it's live. Go for it. Connect to the three and five. Go for it. Connect to the three and f five. <sighs> Shit, come on. All right, let's get into right, it. Let's, let's get into it, Nick. Let's go. I need the music, though, Kevin. Do you have the music? <sighs> Give me the intense music. God, we got. Uh. Aaron! What happened? What do you mean? Why oh. are you screaming? <laughs> That's what he's asking, Kevin. <laughs> What's... Don't worry about me. We're doing, we're, talking, we're doing a show. You're <laughs> screaming back there. Don't worry about me. Burn! Burn! What's happening? Jesus Christ, we're coming to part of the scenes. Baron, I think he wants you to be on the camera like we do every week for the show. Here we go. Okay, all right, ready? Give me a yellow piece. Let's no, you You know what? You'll get your yellow piece. Okay, all right. When I'm done with my red piece. All right. This is tradition. Okay. One of us is going to fight one of us today. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. And I hope it's Barrett and Kevin. I want to see those two scrappy bastards tear each other's clothes off with their big fucking tongues. All right. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here all we right. go. <laughs> Baron! <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? What? Don't worry about me. <laughs> you guys do your show. Ah! Baron! <laughs> Baron! Kevin, what are you screaming about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And people think that I'm going fucking crazy. They think that I'm going crazy. Why do you say Kevin's crazy? Because he's fucking with me, that's why. Oh, let's do this shit. Give me the one. Give me the one. Where do I go? Where's your stupid move, Andy? What is this? Oh my god. Uh, my fucking stomach. Uh, I'm going here. Is this it? I can't see it. All right, there it is, right there. There you go. Oh my god. There you go. There okay. It is. Let's 
Let's see here. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. No. Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, I got it. There we go. You fucked up, Nick. Did I fuck you up? You fucked up, because I'm setting myself up for next week. Oh! You know what I mean? I have set myself there up. There it back. is. Oh my god. Oh my god. How are we how we're getting through this show? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, Nick. Can't wait to, I can't wait for all the comments on the YouTube channel like when I screamed into my microphone. <laughs> That's gonna be great. It's, it's okay. It's fun. Oh my god. Oh all my right. God. That what was really, really funny. Do we have well that's that's it for Connect Between Three and Five that's this it. week. That's it. Uh, go Thank for it, you. Andy. There it is. Go for it, Nick. Uh -huh. uh, all right. Oh my god. We put the call out and some of you answered. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Photoshop challenge. Last week we said, hey, we're gonna throw you a curveball. Pokemon. Surely we didn't think that went through. Because <laughs> it's a cartoon. Yeah. A little harder for people to Photoshop our faces. Not easy. Into it. Yeah. But a lot of you answered. One of you totally misunderstood us and did it completely wrong. We'll get to that in a second, but I love you very much for it. Starting it off, the Robin GL coming in, number one. Let's see what this looks like. Let's cut to it. Wow. Okay. What it oh. <laughs> it's, I remember this joke. I remember this bit. <laughs> What the fuck are these? There, are they hamsters? There, there was a hamster at one point in one of our shows, and you famously said, "Oh, it's just like one of your one of your Pokemon's, huh, Tim?" <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm funny. That sounds funny. Oh, I'm glad I said something I funny. I wish you could have been there to witness well, it. Well, I probably, you know, I hate it. I don't like to live in the past. Yeah. I like to live in the present. Uh, I love this. Jared love looks it. great, though. Jared on a hamster just makes sense. All right, Here's number Jared. two comes from uh, Cozy Bear Alex Cozina. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's your drawing. <laughs> it's your drawing. What? What? <laughs> On the right. <laughs> it's your drawing. Yeah. You're Kevin. disgusting. Why are the udders, like, little fists? Oh, the, the udders are uh, our Geodude's arms. arms. Yeah. Oh my god. That's this, is, this is good. I fucking hate it. This dude. is two for the price of but, one. But, here. okay, but he, here's where I give this a lot of points, yeah. right? Because it's really hard to impose a person's face on a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And so they went like, straight where, where obviously Kevin's face is just like two colors, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a light pink and the dark pink. Yeah. Super smart. No, they very, did a good very, job here. This is, this is very good resourceful. Job. Good job, Alex. Uh, number three comes from Ben at Please Be Excited. Oh. Noel Tales. Oh. Really cool. oh, I like this one. Joey's but favorite Pokemon. Her, so. But the eyes very alarming. Well, they're, they're seductive. And yeah, that's what I didn't realize. But they're Joey's eyes, and it's weird to see human eyes on a non-human thing. It's really weird. Joey, yeah. how do you feel about this? Joey, coming in, sliding I in here. I love it. You Is love this it? the one that wins? I love it. It's my favorite Pokemon. It has what's, my pink hair. It has my glasses. It's great. What's the What's the Pokemon called again? Ninetales. Nine Ninetales. Nine okay. Remember, you drew it as Predator last yeah. week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nailed it. Yeah. A lot of people say, including Kevin, say I nailed that. <laughs> and when Kevin says he nailed something, it, that's when it hurts. Uh -huh. That's yeah. when it really hurts. <laughs> All right, number four. Uh, coming in, Paul. Says, uh, I was binge watching KF content, confused. Uh, uh, next week's debatable topic with KFAF Photoshop. What is it? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> the pose, I hate it. This is. This is uh, I fucking hate your pose. I this is what it. they call a happy accident. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? James Bond is out on his own and out for revenge. Yep. License to kill AF. Yeah. License now, to Kill, arguably one of the worst James Bond movies ever made. The, uh, honestly, the last of the Timothy Dalton saga, oh, not good. Milk Mommy and the Zeros back then. Let me see. Oh, yeah, he is. Now, All here's my problem with it, is that them. they could have at least put Johnny Ace in the font, but they kept it James Bond. Yeah. John, like, if that had said John L. Ace, Esquire 007, that would be, that would be great. It would make more I sense. I like this just because I'm a big Bond fan. Um, the License to Kill, I thought it was a Steven Seagal movie. No, that's hard to kill. Oh. They didn't try that hard with that title. License to Murder. Hard to believe that Steven Seagal is. got so big. Like weight-wise? No, hey, he's pretty chubby now. Have you seen him he's like cop. flipping people over and stuff? The fake, when he fake flips people over? It's lame. It's really, really funny. It's lame. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, here we are. I Timothy brought, I brought up the original because like, yeah. he did a re like, really good job compared to the original, you know? Well, the original, <laughs> so what you're saying is the original not great <laughs> to begin with. No. That's the original poster? That's the original poster. Oh, shit. Wow. This is what I'm telling you right now is that light, that this they was- They half-assed this This was so when the hard. Bond franchise was dying and they were like, we don't have any money. This was, if, you'll remember, if I'm not mistaken, I think this movie was right before Goldeneye when they rebooted it with Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, great movie. Great game. On Greg, the N64. Greg wouldn't know, though, because he's a stupid Sega kid. He was still playing fucking Panzer Dragoon on the Sega Saturn. 
Is that, you know? was that, are you, can you confirm that, that that actually happened? Can you not confirm of it? Of course not, of course you can. Can you not confirm it? Let's move on to the next one, number Let's five. Let's go, number five. All right, this comes from John Simone, winner of last week's. Oh my god. Oh, a Pokemon card? Holy is this some sort of Pokemon shit, card? Yes, this is really good. This is great. <laughs> this, this is, is a great. smart idea. Is this yeah, some sort this of is Pokemon good. Pokemon card. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is this some sort of Pokemon card? <laughs> is it? I don't know. Is that what oh. shadow boxing do nerds? Do nerds get together and back fucking alleys of high schools and trade Pokemon cards? I did in middle school, yeah. Well, of course you did. As an esteemed form of jujitsu, shadow boxing is known as the most effective when your opponent's Pokemon is on its back with its leg in the air, like splash this move is super effective. Yep. P- Pornhub Premium is his signature ability. Mm-hmm. He works that putt like it's nobody's business. Jesus when he Christ. finishes this move, the audience erupts into a cacophonous uproar. This move parries, or pairs, spelled pairs wrong. Yeah, it's okay. So he may lose. Just yeah. kidding. Uh, nicely with an open door bathroom policy. I, I appreciate this. Weakness, bouffance. Retreats for Strength, Starbucks. Comedy. Retreats for Starbucks. Uh, quote, let's party doggy dog. This is my winner so far. This is definitely, I yeah. will say the only thing that could have tipped this over the scale is when he was talking about jiu-jitsu. If, it, if he worked in Andy, get on your back and take your shoe off. Yeah. That would have uh, been amazing. That would have been a great callback. But that's a, that's, that's a deep cut. Uh-huh. That's one that I barely remember. God, I'm still laughing so hard from <laughs> Kevin calling Barrett. I'm still like, <laughs> my body is still reeling from it. I needed to get You're 5'9? Nine. Nine. You're not 5'9. He's not 5'9. Nine. Nine. You guys want to hear, here's, here's a true story. This is such bullshit. What's He's about the, to lie to you, by the here's way. Here's a true story. <laughs> yeah, no, Kevin. <laughs> First off, 5'9, 175. None of those are right, but fucking thank you. You're 100%. I'm just going to call it right now. Fuck the last two contestants. This is the this winner? Guy won. Oh my oh, God. No, 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 no. I went to the DMV yesterday uh-huh. God damn it. to get my new like ID, which was. Not something that they were prepared to handle. I made the appointment three months ago. I walk in. She's like, what do you want? I'm like, I want the real ID. I want the thing that gets me onto planes because I don't want to bring my passport starting in 2020, whatever it is. Trying to get ahead of the game. Trying to be smart. Go there. She's like, wait a minute. You already, like, I get the whole process done. Pay the fee. The The woman goes, okay, go. To the to get your picture taken and then go take the test and I was like I don't have to take the test I already I already renewed my license. I've been driving. I already yeah. renewed my license for January. I just want the real ID and she looked at me and I looked at her and it was a good five minutes there off. Neither of us would understand what the fuck we were talking about. Then she goes into the back room for thirty minutes. I'm standing here by myself. People are staring at me. Long story short, before that I had to fill out a form that said height and I was like, should I put in five nine? <laughs> <laughs> and did you? No, I put in 5'8". Uh, I've always not, been 5'8". Not eight. your height, you're 5... What, Kevin? 7. I'm not 5'7", seven, Kevin. You're 5'7". If I'm 5'7", then you're 4'8". That's what it is. 5'8 no, and I'm two five, quarters. I'm 5'6". I'm not ashamed of it. All right, number 6. Let's I'm sure move on. you're 5'6". We'll get out the, we'll get out the fucking the mini centimeter ruler. We'll figure it out later. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, oh no. yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, no. Now, what I like about this... Not necessarily a poster or any sort of, this is mostly a promotional still of what Kevin would look like if he was a thumb. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't it's like, really disturbing. I don't like this one bit. I, I think the lighting is weird, right? But it kind of matches still. It works. It works in like the way I don't want it to. Yeah. I feel like you should go as this Pokemon for Halloween, Kev. You would nail this. We'll put. There was a lot of internet jokes about how his shoulders looked like uh, they look dodge like balls. Yeah, dodge they balls. are dodgeballs. They're yeah. dodgeballs. Aren't they supposed to be dodgeballs? I don't think uh, that's so. That's for sure a dodgeball, though. Well, yeah, it looks dumb. like one. All right, that's disturbing. Oh, yeah. All right, final I one. Ju- I just want to say this next one, I think, is the most impressive submission in all of, oh, in all of Photoshop uh, okay. Also, I will be adding a number eight at the end, just a heads up. Oh, no. All right, Barrett let's take a look. deemed it not worthy, but I'm putting it in. You all know right. what? Kevin right. calls an audible. Let's go. What is this? I didn't mean to offend you, dude. All right, let's see number seven. Kevin. All right, ready? What the fuck? Oh, it's a video. The first video submission here, right, here on Photoshop go, here Challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's Tim. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, my God. This is so impressive. This is, this, I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. We're starting the show off with that next week. Uh, That's so good that I almost I want to kill it. Have you seen Desperado? Uh, it's the movie Desperado. Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Guitar. There's a great scene with uh, Johnny Depp where he says, "This oh this God, dish is so scene. good that when I'm done, I'm gonna get up and go kill the chef because I can't have this out in the world because it makes everything else pale in comparison." Oh wow. That's what this is. We have to kill. Yeah. Oliver Riger. Okay. We have to, we have to just, right. not like literally, but just make sure that he stops all sort of media production whatsoever. All right, Oliver. That's you're done. Good. You're done for. Shout out to you. That was fucking oh, great awesome. Great job. Honor. 
Great my job. mind is blown by that. All right, uh, the, who, who brought this next the one? Final one. Uh, yeah, I just brought this. Oh, this up. is John Simone again. This is John Simone yeah. again. This is great. And, and it's like disturbing because it's a cartoon version of like, Milk Mommy. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, like I, it's a great. I artistic. really like this I one too. I just want to bring it up and just show it to you guys because this one. I don't know what Barrett's fucking me. problem is no, stop. these days. No, I'm, hey, I'm happy. Stop. I'm happy that they didn't. <laughs> it's very drink. I thought you were drinking a beer. I was like, no. I'm I thought Barrett was drinking an IPA. I was like, oh my god, he is having a problem. Barrett, I, don't do it. I love don't that they did. Yourself. John Simone submitted too, and I just thought the Pokemon card was like way more. Like, you made no, you made the right there. choice. You made yeah. the right choice. But the I Pokemon love, card was was a lot more clever. This, but the Milk Mommy one, can we bring that back up again? Classic. I love that he didn't bother taking the original photo and photoshopping it into it. He just did an artistic version of it, which is hard it's to good. do. Well, that's a, that's real art. Yeah, that's real exactly. Art. Like to anybody who who hasn't seen this before, they look at that and they go, "Oh, that's Milk Mommy face." And that's really yeah. difficult to do. It really is just the animated face. Yeah, it's well, it's really job. hard to get that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where are that you going, Nick? Vapid Where the look fuck in the is eyes. It is. Yeah, you know, like it's just like you. like life is gone. Yeah, I don't like he doesn't I think see it's great. humanity the same way anymore. Man. That's the milk mommy. Dude, look. this one's I'm not so saying that you, Kevin. I'm saying that look that you gave from milk Whatever, mommy dude. is so perfect. Here's what we're doing. All right. What, I don't, <laughs> See, Barrett laughs when it's about you, <laughs> but it isn't like it's about him. I don't. And think, I clearly can't take the height jokes, so we're just all. <laughs> you really can't. I don't you got offended that. real quick. I don't think the MP4. Bastard. I don't think the video can win because we can't put it back it, there. Yeah, we can. No, we can't put we can't put it back there, but we can start the show off. We, we actually well, we can put it back there. We just have to make the wall of video instead of a. But also, image. like it's Tim. It's starring Tim. He doesn't have anything to do with the oh, show. That's a good point. You know? That is a good point. I mean, even though he's the one who made us do this show, he did encourage we, us when we tried to get. No, him. Even I'm when we said sure. when we got so scared because we didn't want to do the show, we made fun of him constantly. He yeah. still steadfastly stayed on our side and said, "You guys can absolutely do this." Yeah. And now, number one show on the internet, easily. Streaming. Hey Nick, I have a quick question about uh, uh, Kevin from the press pool. Desperados is that different from? Mariachi's, you know, El Mariachi is the yeah. first movie. Desperado. Then it's Desperado. Actually, I misspoke. I apologize. It's actually called Once, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. I think was. The third one, right, Barrett? Yeah, someone in the chat was Alexa, saying play that. Desperado. I don't know what you're talking about. Desperado was a movie with Antonio yeah. Banderas, Selma Hayek. She gets, she's super hot in that movie. They have hey, a great fuck right. scene. Did that come out in like the 60s or something? That sounds like a really old movie. <laughs> you old fogey! <laughs> Barrett, Barrett doesn't understand what he's talking about because he's been in a four-day fucking bender of Coca-Cola. <laughs> and he, 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 Here's he, what Nick said about, uh, about Barrett earlier. He, was, he looks like he's been on a bender. I was like, I don't think so. He looks normal. And then he said, he smells like, and I was like, no, you're just saying that. <laughs> like, you don't smell anything about Barrett. Fun fact, I can't smell that well because yeah, I'm all the cigarettes and partying anyway. that I used to do back in the 80s. Um, John Simone Pokemon card is my this top shows vote. This fucking rails today and Jesus I love it. Jesus Christ. Let's go back to it. Let me see it. I like this one too. I this love is my the top po- vote. I love the Pokemon card. Uh, the MP4 I still think is like the best thing that's been made for this it's show. It's dope as shit. Yeah. Barrett, what say you? But it's not a Photoshop still. Yeah, it's not, but it's... It's just so fucking cool. Yeah, like that's gonna get retweeted, I think, by all of us, especially uh, Tim. Yeah, there there, was, there was a lot of talk that was like, uh, like Barrett was like, dude, check this out. I don't think it should make it in the list because it's not a Photoshop. And I was like, no, I don't think it's allowed to win, but I think we need to put it in there because it's It's so its own good. category yeah. at this point. Now, in the chat, Reverse Corey says, now that video has been established, I'm in. Again, oh. we have never put any... It's called a Photoshop challenge, I guess, by definition, that does put some constraints on it. But we, <laughs> <laughs> this show's so stupid. So <laughs> I want to play. I, you know what the fucking funny thing is? Halfway through that, that sentence, I stopped thinking about my own words and I thought, started thinking about breaking this like it was a karate championship. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's <laughs> just like when they just go, oh, God. Ooh. This is a stupid oh We're fucking I'm so dizzy dumb. Uh, laughing so hard. Let's, yeah, I'll put it out there right now. We're called the Photoshop Challenge, but that is a loose term. If you want to make it a video challenge, a I don't give a fuck. Creation challenge. Create something fun so I can put it on my Instagram and get more followers. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> we got a great. Well, who, we, who won? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Bar- <laughs> Barrett, what did you think? In, in my heart of hearts, it's the, it's the video. Okay, we got one vote for the video. Uh, uh, Kevin Tiebreaker. Um, Tiebreaker. I'm voting for the video and this. Yeah, no, well, you I'm, can't vote I'm, for both. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to be a coward, and I'm going to vote for just the video. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know where that leaves us. I think the video wins. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, first time ever. It. What we could do for the for the back Andy. wall, because I know you want to open with it. No, we or we could just not put it on the back wall. I don't no, care. Wait, we just, let's just put we it on the there's back no, wall. It's, a, it's not even a verbal contract. I just said we'll occasionally put it on the back Can wall. Can the Pokemon card replace the deer? 
Nothing will ever replace the dude. Look at the fucking loving embrace. What do you hate love? You're right. Do you hate love? You're right. The yeah, the vi- yeah, the video. Uh, I, don't know. I can composite a TV into the back. No, just put a little CRT TV. Have it just playing in the yeah, background. Yeah, because you don't have the thing is, to do. There's not, the thing is, it's more about the beat. It's less about the visuals. So I can just do a still frame of it and put it back there. Because it's really, it really is just that that nasty beat. You know. Why don't we call Tim? We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do with it. Okay. He'll be like, "Here's what I got. I got a great idea. Let's keep it in our back pocket." Pokemon in review, 2028. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Don't use it yet. You're such a bad person. Again, Tim. <laughs> again, Tim. Biggest advocate of this show. Yeah. Believed in us so much. <laughs> he believed in us, and all you do is tear him and down. All I do is tear yeah. him down. Great show. All right, Kevin. What's up, dude? I'm gonna read the ads now. Okay. While I'm doing that, do you want to check and make sure the video package is good to go for the back nine of the show? Uh, I mean. The only way to do that is to have it play. Fantastic. And you hear it, so I don't know. <laughs> it's a dumb question, Nick. Well, no, I don't. I'm just, I'm letting you know. You got, you got a solid no, I, I, I minute know. and a half while I read this to, to check out any here? problem. I see your, I see black and a, and a, and a cursor. Yeah, that's the video. It's, it's prepped okay. and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Quip, our first sponsor today. One of the most important things we do for our health every day is brushing our teeth. Yeah, most of us don't do it properly. Is your oral health... Wait, it's your oral health. And with a Quip electric toothbrush sticking to good habits is simple. They got sensitive sonic vibrations for an effective clean that's gentle on your sensitive gums. Built in two minute timer, pulses every 30 seconds to remind you when to switch sides and help you clean your whole mouth evenly. Uh, we got a multi use cover that works as a stand, mounts to the mirror, and slides over your bristles to pack and protect your Quip on the go. The brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist recommended schedule every three months for just five bucks. A friendly reminder when it's time to, for a, fresh, a refresh and to stay committed to your oral health. Uh, me and Gia have one of these bad boys and we like them very, very much. Tim just got one that I guess is like all. What are you? What are you giggling about? You weird. Are you laughing at when Kevin no. screamed at Barrett? Is that what you're laughing at? Because I started giggling about that too. He's a psychopath. He has to be stopped. Uh, Tim really likes his as well. He's got this all stealth model of it, which is really really cool. Uh, right now, we love Quip. That's why over 100, uh, uh, over 100. One million happy, healthy mouths do as well. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash KFMS right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. That's your re- first refill pack for free at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash KFMS. Next up, we got Audible. With Audible, you get access to an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, including bestsellers, motivations, uh, motivation, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and more. Uh, Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. And now, with Audible Originals, the selection has gotten even more custom with content made for members. Uh, I used Audible uh, recently to, to listen to uh, Stephen King's Salem Lot, and I loved it. Very, very easy. Picks up where you left off. Very, very uh, simple and great. I, I can listen to books while I'm driving or while I'm cooking, whatever, on the move. I don't like to sit down too much, mm-hmm. you know, until You're it's time always to sit down. I'm always on the go. Uh, on Audible the go member- Scarpino. That's what they call me. Mm-hmm. Audible members right now can choose three titles every month, one audiobook and two Audible originals. You can't hear anywhere else. Audible members also get access to exclusive audio uh, audio fitness programs to start the new year off on the right foot. Uh, listen on any device, anytime, anywhere, at home, at the gym, on your commute, or just on the go. You'll also enjoy easy audio books, exchanges, rollover credits, and an audio book library you keep forever. Even if you cancel Audible, uh, the most inspiring minds, the most compelling stories. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I read that wrong. You can also enjoy easy audio uh, Easy audiobooks, exchange, rollover credits, and an audiobook library you can keep forever, even if you cancel. Audible, the most inspiring minds, the most compelling stories, the best place to listen. Go to audible.com slash KF or text KF to 500, 500 and listen for a change. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash KF or text KF to 500, 500 and listen for a change. All right, cool. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, Audible. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Barrett. Thank you, audience, for listening. All right. Uh, we got a great segment for you this guys. This is a long gentlemen. segment, guys. So bit, Strap in. Don't, don't tell them it's long. Sorry. Tell them it's great. Let That's them great. decide whether or not it's too long. <laughs> Let them decide whether or not at 9 o'clock last night I was like, fuck it, it's perfect. Oh it's perfect. It's not going to get any better than this. Uh, Andy and I got into a, a little debate last week. Uh, I told, I said that McDonald's has is the king of McNuggets, and you said, fuck you. Wendy's is better. Mm-hmm. And I said, f- challenge accepted. Let's go out into the world, ladies and gentlemen. Once and for all, settle the great nugget debate. Who's got the best nuggets? We are the ones that are going to decide that. Me, you, largely Kevin and Barrett also yeah. hanging out with us on this one. Very excited. Anything else to set this up? No, I, I hope you all enjoyed it. A lot of work went into it. And also, I had a really upset stomach afterwards. I pooped milk. 
What's up, AFers? I'm Nick. I'm Andy. And we are here to settle the great debate. Who has the best nugs in town? Is it gonna be McDonald's? Is it gonna be Burger King? Will we find ourselves a Carl Jr.? Who is it gonna be? We also just don't know where the restaurants are, so we're gonna navigate. We'll figure it out on our own. Like, you guys are with us on this journey. But we're gonna go, and then we're gonna decide via the silent hand raise which one ranks higher than the other. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Great, I'm glad one of us has it figured out. Are you ready to go, doggy dog? I'm ready to party, it's dog. It's party time. Let's go, Let's dog. Go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm careful, I have a white shirt. I don't wanna stain it. Burn blue. Burn blue, dude. When I was in the bathroom earlier, I was, I was going, Kevin, I'm peeing. Do, 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 do. Kevin, I'm peeing. <laughs> if he gives in to me and knows that I'm annoying him, I'll just do it harder. It's more big brother, little brother, um, but not like stepbrother, yeah, that's step what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, the thing with me and Kevin is it's really it really is that sort of like unspoken sexual tension mm -hmm. sort of thing. You know, and I don't know where it comes from, but who knows where those things come from. When you guys are in the same room, you and Kevin, the I mean, chemistry the is palpable. The chemistry is palpable. I like I could feel the horniness in the air. It's like just get a room and Kevin, you're here? What Kevin, you're, when did you get here? We're going <laughs> first. How about McDonald's? Let's go to McDonald's first. Yeah, yeah. Kevin, I'm peeing. <laughs> Kevin, I'm peeing. <laughs> I want to open this door. Why can't everybody see me? You know, um, What's up? one day, and I wouldn't even hold it against me if you did this, Kevin brings in a fucking saw it off, kills us all. How badly do you want a fucking party in this place, Andy? That's what my question. What is it? Little sea knots, but spelled ocean. Ocean knots. But it says a sea knot. Yeah, it said sea knot. No. Should we do drive through? We can do drive through. I need you to throw out my sugar free Red Bull. I want to get a Diet Coke. Sugar free. Wow, we, you just opened it. Just throw this one out too, because I'm going to get two Diet Cokes probably. Well, this is mine too. So you don't need it anymore. It's bad for you. Okay, it's kind of far. There you go. Yeah. Hello, we're here to see if your Chicken McNuggets are better than Burger King's. Could I have 40 Chicken McNuggets? No, too many. No, Could I have two orders of six Chicken McNuggets, not 40? So, 260, any sauce? Any sauce? Uh, sh uh, no, I'm fine. No, thank you. No, thank you, just normal. And I'll do one large uh, fountain diet beverage, please. Diet Coke. Yeah, diet Coke. Man, I wish I saw that Red Bull. You getting thirsty? Where'd it go? God, they're a little... Beautiful. It's like cats. There's three cats. The play cats. Okay. Oh my god, this okay. is so cute. Packaging is nice for these six. This is a new. Can they fit six nuggets in there? We'll see. Science we'll will see. tell. Okay. There you there go. They are. Oh, crispy and gold. All Smell right. test. Smelling pretty good. Smelling pretty good. Nice and crispy. I'm gonna take it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. There's not much else you could say. The gold standard. Yeah. You know, this is the original nugget. The gold standard. McDonald's has kind of like nailed the the overall vibe. You know what I mean? They're the best. Like they know what they're doing, no. clearly. No. Right now, do you think this is the number one ranked chicken nugget? Raise your hand. And the list as it stands right now, number one, Mickey D's. Mm-hmm. You know what would be really cool right now, Nick? If our seats could do a 180. Do you want me to have Barrett go stand over in the drive-thru? You cool with that, man? All right, man. All right, what's up next? Yeah. What, where are we going to next, Nick? I feel like next we're going to go to Carl's Jr. The dentists are a conspiracy, okay, against America. Because right. they're out there selling you gotta clean your teeth, but they're also hawking sugar all the time. I've noticed when I walk by snacks at convenience stores, I see like dentist approved. Dentist number one approved. Right, and it's like Jolly Ranchers, it's Starburst. Like, yeah, it's like Reese's Peanut Butter. The cups. biggest offender. Dentist approved, and it's yeah. like, I don't know why they would even put that on. Four out of five there. dentists recommend this candy. I miss smoking cigarettes. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. <laughs> really miss it. Man, this Diet Coke's real good. We're doing that again, really? Yeah. No, what? Do you want a sip? Is there a hole in the shell? Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Let me see if there's probably one little sip left in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it? You got the last sip? Yeah. I feel like Face Off is one of those movie franchises that re should require a sequel. You know, similar to how Bill and Ted is taking so long. Here are the actors. We bring back John Travolta, but instead of Nick Cage, Halle Berry. 
John Travolta and Halle Berry. Mm-hmm. I feel like they could really just, they, they had great chemistry in Swordfish. Better shape up, boop, 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 cause I need a man. Boop, boop, boop. I mean, again, 40. And I'm 40- sure down deep inside. Blah, 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 blah. Is that Mr. Pickles? You're, You're the, the one, one that I love. You are the, the one, one that I love. Hey, Carl's Jr. Hi, do you sell any sort of chicken nugget? Uh, how, yeah, how many? How many? What are my options? Can I have chicken star, uh, six or nine or eighteen? Let's do two sixes of the stars, the chicken stars. Okay, two order, right? Mm-hmm, and one large fountain diet coke. Uh, large diet coke, right? Oh, do you have Fruit Loop mini donuts also? Yeah. Yeah, can we get a order of those too? Because I feel like those okay. are gonna go good with the chicken stars. Yeah. Got another Diet Coke. Here we go. Yeah. All right, good. Well, because the other one right now. Yeah, here, what I feel like here, we'll split this. Well, which cup is yours? This is going to be, I'm going to do, there you go. There you go. You can this, have one. this one's mine? Yeah, it's yours right there. There's nothing. Right there. Thanks. Oh, perfect. Cheers. Can we maybe find a place to stop and Maybe put some more in here, like just a little bit. Oh, oh! Did I take all of it? Well, there's, a, there's an ice. I have an ice cube. Let me see. That's about it, though. Oh, okay. There you go. You don't want those just random ice cubes floating out there. Okay. Very dangerous to have just in the cup. It gets stuck in your throat. All right. So I'm not, I'm not loving the packaging of these. Very cheap. What is almost this? As, as if they're disrespecting the customer. This one's got a broken wing. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try these. Um, complaint. I have a complaint. Okay. Andy, what's your complaint? Thank you, Nick. Uh, a little too chewy. A little gummy. Yeah, a little gummy. Not as crisp as it I want. It reminds me a lot of like a Tyson nugget you would get at the freezer, grocery freezer. Yeah. All right. Number one, McDonald's nuggets. Who thinks these are better than McDonald's nuggets? Nobody in the room raised their hands. Nobody raised their hands for audio listeners. Uh, okay, so I guess uh, the official ranking right now as it stands, number one, McDonald's Nuggets. Number two, Carl's Jr. Nuggets. Carl's Jr. Nuggets. Stars, I guess. Stars, yeah. Not good. Oh, nuggets. Wait, I forgot we got these. The Nuggets sucked, but we got what are some these Fruit Loop Donuts. Fruit Loop Mini Donuts. Mini donuts. Look at these, Barry. Look how colorful Look how they are. Look how beautiful they are. Let me get the blue. I've always been blue. Okay, Take a little bite. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh my God. That is a Fruit Loop. They drive. Kevin, good. try one. This is a fucking Fruit Loop. It's kind of really confusing me. Oh my god! Wow. Everybody, Wait, show of hands if these are the best Fruit Loop donuts you've had today. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. They rank number one, both of us, on our list of Fruit Loop donuts. Kevin took me to that Hawaiian uh, drive-in place right there. Oh right. Yeah. It's uh, to say that it was low budget would be a bit of an understatement. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Andy, they've got um, wallpaper up on the top where it's the New York skyline, but they like still have the Twin Towers in there. Oh, shit. All right, we're at Wendy's. Wendy's. Baby Make back ribs. It fresh, baby back ribs. Yeah. Oh man, there's a line here. Should we go inside? Yeah, freak it, let's go inside. This is uh, this is taking a while, man. We have been, yeah, gonna I'm be telling awesome. you right now, should we just rank these based on how long we've waited? I still want some though because they have spicy nuggets, and the spicy nuggets are exquisite, Nicholas. Oh, that's a challenge. Exquisite, you, think yeah. they're gonna, you think they're gonna dethrone the champion? I've had them before, and here's the thing: like, I, I, we're basing this only off of the taste. Yeah. Not the way this piece of garbage building looks, right? Yeah. It's actually kind of nice in here. Actually, it's not really a garbage building at all. They keep it. Oh, very it's clean. actually really clean. Yeah. yeah. You would tell me if people in the office hated me, right? Oh yeah. Like, yeah. does, like, does Joey hate me? Yeah, Joey hates Everybody hates you. Kevin hates you. Greg. Tim. Barrett. Me. What Fran about the Mirabella. FedEx guy? Does FedEx guy like me? I think I was like, I, I was pretty cool with him when he delivered that last package. No, FedEx guy definitely hates you. People in the hair salon definitely don't like you. Comic book shop. Everybody there, every single one of those employees hates you, past or present. A few people have left, and they're now working at Underdogs, I believe. But they've, I saw them at Underdogs, and they were like, I hate that Nick guy. Well, hey, you know, at least they remember me. I'm getting real worried, Nick. Yeah. 
I'm not seeing spicy nuggets. I don't as think they have option. spicy nuggets. No, but they've always had them though. Well, we're gonna like have I'm seeing regular nuggets. Hi. Hello. Um, can we do a 10 piece nugget? And then, nuggets? yeah. And then do you have spicy nuggets? No, it's on the regular. Uh, spices are gone? No more spicy? No, it's spicy. Oh man, all right. Well, did, you get, did you get a drink? You got a beverage? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, man, I gotta tell you, I was really excited to rank in those the spicy ones, but no, they do not. I guess they don't do it anymore. Just for the camera. All right. They unfortunately, do not do the spicy uh, uh, nuggets anymore. But these look good. This, this is what we want out of a nugget here. Good shape. It needs to be crispy. It needs to be very a good small shape. though. Very small. A little smaller than good the McDonald's shape, nuggets. But very good crisp on the outside. There's look a good. At this. Take a look at this thing. There's some good texture good. there. You can, feel, you can hear it. A little crunchiness. All right, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't like these. Whoa. No, it's too gummy. What? Yeah, I don't like them. No. No, so these are very close in consistency to a chicken tender, but it's not a nugget. No. You know? I think you're blatantly wrong. Really? Yeah. Where do you uh, just shoot from the hip? Where do you think? Where does this belong on the list? Uh, I'm seeing this maybe even above McDonald's. It's possible. I gotta be. So, okay, so who puts this above? The Carl's Jr. star. Okay. Two people raised their hands. Who puts this? Three. Kevin, you don't count. Two people. Who puts this above the number one contender, the McDonald's Chicken McNugget? Ladies and gentlemen. One person raised their the hand. The list stands. Number one. Stands McDonald's what? What do you mean? Chicken 50%? McNuggets. Next up, Burger King. Let's get it. I bet. Why don't you guys meet me in the Carl? I'll, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. okay. Kevin, I'm peeing. Kevin, I'm peeing. Kevin, I'm peeing. It's okay. Here's here's what I'm pissed off about, Nick. Yeah. They've had a spicy nuggets before in the past. What is it about this location that prevents? She looked at you when you asked for spicy nuggets like you had two heads. What was up with that? She was judging you. Oh my I god. I couldn't believe I like. The look she was giving me as if like, sir, you're in a wrong, like, what year are you in? That's yeah, like, like the look she gave me. What century are you from? Jesus Christ. Look at this dope Porsche. <laughs> Where? Oh, why? Why the burping? We're all burping, Kevin. We're Kevin, just having a good time, man. Come on, Mookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this seagull? Did you see him? Dude, that seagull, I thought That's it was a dragon. Seagull. That's a fucking dragon. I thought it was a dragon. Look at him in the air. Be I'm careful. Gonna, I'm gonna try to communicate with him. This man's out here, he needs to be careful. Sir, be careful of the seagulls. Yes. Holy shit, look, that's got a cat. He's got a giant ass, oh, they're fighting. Whoa, Whoa. careful, <laughs> careful, Nick. Whoa. Oh my God, Game of Thrones early, you know? Seriously, dude, fucking sneak peek. Fucking mother of dragons. Sure. Right the way it opens up. Sure. Yeah. Man, that makes my mouth just parched right now. I threw away my cup because there just wasn't any liquid in it anymore. Mm -hmm. Not that I finished the drink, it's just there... I don't know if you noticed when you were pouring it in there, there wasn't any liquid in it whatsoever. Like when you were transferring the... You didn't leave anything in there for me. I don't know if you noticed that. I did not notice that. So no. You don't even realize this right now, Nick. You don't even realize this. We're about to have a problem right here. They have nuggets and they also have chicken fries. Hello, sir. Uh, could I get one order of chicken nuggets and one order of chicken fries? Regular nuggets or spicy? <laughs> uh, I think we need 10 piece regular and 10 piece spicy. Right. Um, can I get a medium Coke? Yeah. No, that should be it. Can you get medium Coke? Okay, thank you. Sorry, what now? All right, I'm very excited about this. Because not only did, now here's the thing, Wendy's failed us categorically. We thought they had spicy chicken nuggets, they do not have, they didn't have, they just had normal yeah. nuggets that tasted kind of like soggy chicken tenders. We said we weren't gonna talk about this again, but it's fun. Burger King on the other hand, holy shit, not one, not two, but three options for a chicken nugget-like here's, product. Here's what I'm worried about, Nick. Yeah. And it might be something that we have to submit to uh, like the, the nugget emporium or something. Yeah. Because chicken fries are not nuggets, you know? Can I get a ruling from the peanut gallery? Should these be included on the list? They are gonna make the list. Let's see okay. where they rank. Blind taste, blind taste test. test. All right, blind, blind taste test. Me. Blindfold me. Blindfold me. Yeah, with me. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Is it chicken fry? This is a chicken fry. 
I like it. Really? Yeah. I tell you what, what it lacks in texture, warmth, and taste, it really makes up for an ease of use. Personality too. Yeah. Like you can just suck that thing in, swallow it whole, don't even have to chew it. Next up on the list. Yeah. Spicy chicken oh, nugget. Oh yeah, dog. I'm pretty sure these are spicy because you can see a little pepper flakes. Yeah. Can you get a close up on that? Can you get a close up? Little pepper flakes. All right, cheers. All right, cheers it up right here. Mm. Oh, that's good. These are good. Really? Yeah. I don't like them. Really? I do not like them. Not good good spice though. Don't like the don't like the good spice, but too much spice, not enough taste. Yeah. I'm putting it back in here. No. no, no. You want? No. The final nugget of the day. Camp, no. These nuggets look like they have jaundice or something. Oh no. These like are there's not no life. Good. There's no life in them. The nuggets should be golden. These They're are just floppy. Kind of like Terrible texture. It looks like in the movies when somebody has a really bad disease and they're like in the hospital bed and they color them like they take away their color. This is what these look like. Oh. Fucking horrible, dude. And these here's the problem. Not great. You get the commercial and it's like 45 nuggets for 88 cents or whatever. That's what you're getting. No quality. Kind of spicy. You're getting what you're paying for, Nick. What are the stands right now? McDonald's, number one, by a wide margin. Uh, Wendy's coming in at number two. I don't think it was a wide margin because I voted for Wendy's. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I also didn't vote for Wendy's, and so 50-50 tie goes to the runner. Oh, God, I just threw up. Oh, God. It's a lot of chicken, huh? All right, number one, as it little stands right now, McDonald's, uh, Chicken McNugget, yeah. the king. Number one. Number one. Uh, number two, Wendy's Nugget. Uh, number three, just distant third are those just abominations of the stars from Carl's Jr. Terrible. Chicken just stars. Terrible. Where are we ranking these? Let's start with the spicy. Are we ranking them as a group? I think we, got, I think we should rank them individually. Individually. Okay, I'm fine with that. So I'm going to put the spicy wings, the spicy, the, the, the burger kings, number two. I'm putting those uh, underneath, uh, underneath Wendy's. So well, that, those are going to number three. What about the chicken sticks? The chicken fries. Chicken fries. Chicken fries. I got to have another those? one, maybe. I got to have another one. Hold on. I'm putting the chicken fry above the spicy above the spicy Burger nugget. King nugget. Okay. So right now you want you want to do McDonald's nugget, uh, Wendy's nugget, this chicken fry, and then the spicy nugget. Yes. And then those just fucking shoot me in the back of the head when no one's looking. Terrible Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. stars. Okay. And then are we? I'm assuming then that the Burger King we can both unanimously agree that this just floppy thing. Disgusting. Limp what dick. is it? What is it? I'm putting that Dead below list. Carl's Jr. I would. And it's not even close. Have to agree. Yeah, I'd I put it four spots agree. below it if I could. All right. I got a special surprise for you. Yeah. Next. We're going to go to one of my favorite burger places on the planet. It's called Beeps Burgers, and they have the best chicken nuggets you will ever eat. Thank what, you so much. What name do they put it under? Did they call right. Nick? I'm I thought very they... excited for you to try these. All right, here we yeah. go. You good? Final taste test. Over here. Final taste test. I think you're really gonna like these chicken nuggets. Yeah, they're a little different as far as like the, the sizing of them. Can't wait to dig concerned. in. Let's get a shot of these beautiful things right here. Look at that. Yeah. They look weirdly shaped. Right. No, no, they're, it's, it's just how they just do it. Just like here. the batter well, or whatever? Look at, everyone else does a nugget. They do a chicken egg. Full egg. Yeah, huh? chicken egg. Fried egg. Here we go, let's try it. All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Ew. Yeah. It's a. That's not a nugget. That's a corn dog. No, it's a like a pig nugget. It's a corn dog. There's it's no a, chicken in here. Well, pigs are the chickens of the sea. I fucking hate corn dogs, dude. Really? I didn't know that. I can't believe you've done this to me. We gotta rank them. So where do you want to put them on the list? It's but it's not even. It doesn't even go on the list. It's a. Show of hands. It's not if, a these, if these are better than the number one right now, show of hands. No. And you know what? I'm gonna include Kevin on there. Really? There Why? Beeps, corn dogs, number one on you our list. You said he's on the list earlier. Well, you know, I make the rules. I, I drove a car. I'm the driver of the car. When you get a car, you can make rules. I have a car. And there it is. There you have it. There it is. How about that? The official Nug ranking list. Wow. Hard, hard, that was a hard fought battle. I feel like there's a lot of back and forth, a lot of really good, good um, discussion yeah, yeah, yeah. both ways. Because we didn't see eye to eye, but 
I believe that we still came to an informed decision. We did. That corn dogs are not nuggets. I, I mean, I'll be honest whoa, with you. Whoa, just whoa, like whoa, whoa. just like a lot of our a lot of our MCU and review lists, like it's fair, it's balanced. I don't always agree. Yeah. Uh, and you're not always happy. Right. I don't agree that Winter Soldier was where it's supposed to be on our list. Thor should have been. Thor should have been than higher. Incredible Hulk. Probably. Yeah. Who knows? I voted against that. Uh, but this list is democratic, and this is where it stands, and that's where it is, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, uh, it's all politics. Dude. And it's all. It's it's not all politics. Uh, this is actually just pure shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> this pure stupidity. Yes, Kevin. From you the press cut out all the milkshake stuff you had me do. What's that? Nothing. Never mind. Oh, that part where we went afterward. Never mind. To your house? Never mind. Stop. To your, to your shower? No, stop. <laughs> and we bathed in milkshakes? No, that's not Is that what, what you're talking about? That's not what happened. And Paula held the camera? <laughs> I thought you were going to include the line where I got really, really mad and didn't want to talk about the Burger King or uh, ah, Wendy's ah. Spicy Nuggets. Did not? There just wasn't time. The, one of the things I noticed with this, very long, <laughs> very long segment. It's about an hour. <laughs> this is a good hour, 15 minutes. Longest segment we've ever done, fun fact. Hey, yeah, I had a great job. Great job to Barrett and Kevin it. for all that. Uh, uh, great, great work. All right. Uh, I, someone in the chat was asking, uh, man, are they eating all the nugs? Yes. Yeah, we yeah, did. You know, and then every and boy, time, Nick, you would order just way too many. I thought it was funny. Yeah. It backfired. Yeah. That's why I didn't eat any. My stomach on the, was upset. On the drive home, well, no, at, we upset. had- Upset. When we j- had gotten to Burger King, I was already feeling terrible by that point. Yeah. And we saw to do the Burger King bit, and I still felt like garbage. And those Burger King regular nuggets did not do it any just. did not do me any they justice. They weren't good. They weren't They were no, really they sure bad. Were the spicy sure were ones were pretty good, though. All right, everyone. It's the, it's the end of the show, and of course, cu- as is custom here on KFAF, it's time for Ask Andy Anything. Ask Andy Anything. Did we hear that? <laughs> Great, fantastic. Uh, first up, are we playing the fun music, Kev? Mm-hmm. Great. First up comes from Jethro Parsons, says, I'm going to be proposing to my girlfriend whilst in New York in a Wilson. few weeks. Whilst? In New York in a few weeks. How should I do it? You're gonna propose. He's proposing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 okay so how okay, would you okay. do it? Um. Okay. Fireworks. Right. Mm-hmm. Nothing. A bunch of fireworks. Whiz right? bang boom. Bunch of fireworks around the Statue of Liberty. Just all on the base of the Statue of Liberty. Right. Yeah. Um. F- I'm talking like the big boomers. Right. The big booms. The baby boomers. The big booms. Uh. The crackles. The the foot poppers. You ever seen those? When you throw them on the ground, they go pow. Yeah. Those poppers. Yeah. I love those. Sparklers. Uh, rocket launchers or bottlenecks. What are they called? Bo- bottle, bottle rockets. Bottle rockets. Yeah. Bottle rockets. Bottle rockets. Also, the ones that just go shoom. You know those, Kevin? Yeah. When you hold up the tube, they go shoom. Yeah. Shoom. Yeah. Those are really, really great. Yeah, I love those. Nothing but fireworks everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. And then when she shows up, <laughs> what's up? I thought you were gonna just keep talking about fireworks. I thought you were using that as a transition. Yeah, yeah. Well, when she shows up, you tell her to go buy more fireworks. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Be- so you can you can ever have. She enough goes fireworks. to the fireworks store. Yeah, yeah. The guy there gives her the ring. Says, "Marry me." She marries him instead oh. of you. You dodge the bullet. That's a big brain play. You dodge dude. the yeah. bullet because she's cheating on you. Oh my god! Know. Yeah, no, with stop. the fireworks guy. Yeah, He's because she likes his. He, she likes his bottle rocket. <laughs> she, likes, she, she calls it his little. <laughs> she calls it her little M80. <laughs> no, dude, guys, all right. You, you know your great you're, question. Thank great you. question, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's it. That's it. That's it for Ask cool. Andy Anything. And that's it for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know what you thought of our nugget ranking. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Is it fun to just make Andy eat stuff that makes him throw up in his mouth? Who knows? You I almost think. vomited, too. Oh, my God. That was tough. I can't go back to that day. Although, to be fair, I'm kind of craving some nugs from McDonald's. Yeah, today. same here. Who knows? Same Maybe here. we'll see it. Uh, yes, Joey, from the Question from Joey. Uh, you have to pick a Photoshop challenge. Oh, son of a I fuck. do have to pick a Photoshop challenge. You know what? In honor of Paul DG111, who unfortunately... Uh, was mistaken and decided to do 80s action movies this week instead of Pokemon. We're gonna go with the theme of 80s action movies for next week. How about that? How does that sound? Pro Maneuver? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Fantastic. Of course, if you guys wanna ask Andy anything or you wanna be a part of the show, go over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, back us at the bronze tier, and I'll pull those questions for next week's show. Uh, We're a little heavy, I'll do a few more next week. But that, that was a good one. You had a great Yeah, we had a long show today, response. dude. Long show today. Andy, uh, thank you very much. Kevin, thank you very much. As always, uh, I'm Nick. I'm Andy. And you've just been AF'd. <laughs>